Hey guys, Jackson Savvy here. Today we're doing a quick Windows 10 app tutorial. Actually a program if that's what you want to call it. Uh, today we're going to be going over CCleaner. So we'll get right to it here. Let's go to whatever web browser you use. Very top. Let's type in CCleaner. Now this cleaner is something I've used for years. I actually use it on my phone as well. So the very first search result that you come to is usually, or second, excuse me, it'll say Piriform. Let's go click on that one. But I've used this for years, and I've always used the free version. They've changed it up a little, so let's make sure you see the free right here. And go to download. And it'll take a moment to download. Once it does, go ahead and click it, and let's install it. Now what this is going to do is it's a bit of a powerful tool for cleaning your cache, uh, getting a lot of file space back, and a good uninstaller and registry cleaner that's safe. So let's click customize instead of just install. I usually don't add the uh, things to the recycle bin. You'll see it can add shortcuts to your right click menu. I don't really see those as too necessary. Let it go ahead and automatically check for updates. But let's unclick this intelligent cookie scan unless you absolutely need certain cookies to stay. And let me double check what more is here. Okay, and that's just the install directory. If you want to change that, that's fine. But let's click install. And it won't take too long to install. Once it does, uh, we can go ahead and run it. We don't need to see the release notes. Let's go ahead and click Run. And I'm going to maximize this so you all can check it out. There's a lot of things going on with this program. At the very top, you'll see the version of Windows you're running. And you'll see your processor, RAM, and if you have a video card. Uh, and usually you'll see that even if you have uh, integrated graphics. Now right here, along this whole list here, are the options you can add in to do the cleaning. Now all the ones that are on right now are safe. Now there are some you can click that uh, some people don't. You might not have these available depending, but like old Windows installations, if you've upgraded or uh, there's any kind of uh, installations like I'm on the uh, Microsoft Insider or Windows Insider program so I get new builds all the time they kinda compile up so you can click that one if you want sometimes I like to do old prefetch data but let's go ahead and analyze it if this is your first time doing it it will take quite a while and this is a fresh install I just did but I've got a pretty pretty quick system here so what it's gonna do is it's gonna list a whole bunch of stuff that we can uh, clear out that won't affect any of our data in any negative ways but it takes care of internet history on a lot of stuff uh, just quite a few things I'm kind of watching through what it's going through right now and it'll tell you kind of play by play as to which directory it's looking through and then it'll list what all it's going to be clearing out like mine I'm going to get about 4,877 megabytes which is 4 gigs and you can see the majority of it's coming from my recycle bin here. Old prefetch data has a lot, but you can go ahead and look across there. But usually, I haven't had one time that it's caused any problems or I needed to keep it from cleaning some. So let's hit Run Cleaner and OK. Now that'll be the first thing it does. There's also a menu up here for applications, additional stuff you can tell it to scan or not to scan even registry it goes through but now we're done it's cleaned it up usually the first time you ever run this you'll gain a lot of space uh, next tool it's the registry this one I just leave as is I scan for any issues and it's usually going, going to find quite a bit uh, if you've been on the computer a long time you realize that registry cleaners can be dangerous uh, CCleaner keeps it very basic, very simple, so just hit Fix Selected Issues. You can back up changes to the register if you wish for any reason. If you do hit Yes, it'll give you a place to choose where to save, but I'm not going to back up anything. And if you see like 300, 400 entries, don't worry. Just hit Fix All Selected Issues and Close. 
next tool that's up actually says tools. This one has a whole plethora of ones as well. Uh, the install one that's highlighted first does give you a list of all the programs and if you run Windows 10, Windows 8 you'll also see some of your uh, added apps like right here you'll see Flipboard, Feedback Hub, things like that. Uh, but if you ever need to uninstall this is a good place to do it because it can also give you a little bit more power to delete options uh, or delete entries that are there that don't need to be. So this is one I come to quite a bit if I do any computer repair. Uh, next up is your startup. This is a great place to see what programs are starting up besides doing it through Windows. As you can see on mine, right now you see something strange that says CC Monitoring and it's not enabled. If I wanted to enable it, I've got a menu over here to enable it, disable it, or just delete that startup entry which these are all programs that start up right when Windows starts up whenever you turn on the computer so you really want to disable any that are not necessary like Google Update I leave because I'm big on my Google being up to date uh, and I've got these pretty well set Java I do let update quite a bit because I do do get in some strange programs that require different versions uh, switchboard no but you'll have things on yours, especially Apple products. If you have any Apple products on here, just disable the startup. Because if you go into your iTunes or anything like that, uh, it'll start those processes once you click the program. So if it's not necessary to start up right when it begins, don't worry about it. Like Steam especially. For me, I don't want Steam to start every time I'm on the computer. It also has scheduled tasks in your computer, and this is just a uh, this is just a way to view these. There's other ways to see what's what all these are on Windows, but this is just a really good place to have a hub to go to to find anything that starts up. Scheduled tasks include anything from you know antivirus scans uh, to updates, things like that. You can see I've got an Asus gamepad here that uh, has a scheduled task. If you see anything very strange here, um, you can always disable it, delete it. I'm looking across some of these for the first time because this video card I've got, these are all NVIDIA. The publisher is going to tell you a lot. Uh, next are browser plugins. If you've got any that you do not want running on any of your browsers, this is a great place to go ahead and disable them. Like you can see, I've got quite a few on Google Chrome for plugins. And I will change that at some point because plugins in Google Chrome can take a lot of RAM. This computer I'm on can handle it. But if you got too many, disable them through here or disable them through your browser. Uh, the other four that I've got here, I really don't use hardly ever. The analyzer, see what's using the most space on your computer. If you got duplicate files and folders like uh, sometimes when you move music over and stuff you get same file names this will help you go through find those and regain some disk space system restore I don't even have it enabled but that will show you restore points and I believe it will let you edit them delete them drive wiper let you go over your free space make everything run a little faster but for the most part these four I do not touch options is what we need to go ahead and click on now this is a great free program you'll see you've got all sorts of settings to change here and everything what I do have unchecked is run C cleaner when the computer starts you know I don't have it on the recycle bin I do want to check for updates cookies you can look over but we just cleared them out uh, something else if you want to include additional folders and files or exclude ones from being scanned uh, monitoring now if you've got plenty of RAM you're not too worried about slowing your computer down go ahead and leave it on system monitoring to keep it clean but I do recommend if you uh, just don't want to mess with it uh, go ahead and uncheck enable system monitoring and active monitoring it will tell you that's not recommended but yes you want to do it now if you want to leave them running that's fine too but I like my uh, computer to run snappy quick and all this is is something additional to run when the computer starts up and to run in the background 
and I want to minimize the programs I run to keep my desktop running very quickly. Users, I don't touch. Advanced, um, I actually haven't had to change any of that as well, so I'd go ahead and leave that alone. And if you ever want to upgrade to Pro or try Trial, it's right there. But this will be one of your go-to programs for system maintenance on cleaning, registry cleaning, uh, in a good uninstall tool, and to check your browser plugins, and anything that starts up. So it's a great hub, keeping everything in one place. It's kind of a daily driver. I run this usually once every two weeks, once a month. Just kind of keep it in your repertoire, and it'll help keep your desktop running cleaner and less errors. So guys, I do appreciate it. If you liked the video, give me a like, subscribe, comment, good, bad, however you'd like. And as always, thanks for watching and chive on.